How's it going everyone? Welcome into Waterside Workshop. I'm Carl and we're still working away on this Fiesta. So last time I spoke to you I think we were looking at the trims and they'd all reacted and that so I'm gonna flatten them back a little bit and see if we can sort them out. I've got just over the back going the workshop I've got two more wheels for the Fiesta now so we've actually got four virtually brand new tyres for it now which is pretty cool. I've got to sand them ones and give them a paint up and they'll be sorted but like I say first of all we're gonna go ahead and have a look at these trims and see if we can sort them out so let's go over to them and see what we can do so welcome in let's go so as you can see here they've reacted quite badly which is not very nice I'm gonna try a bit of 320 see if I can pull a bit of that off and see how far we're gonna have to go back with them this is what I'm gonna be using it's the Merca 320 How much sand is it going to take? Must have been some trap solvent or something in there, or that, or the single pack paint has reacted with the 2K paint. But a stranger hasn't done it in other places and had on them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten all this where it's peeled back and pickled up, and then I'm going to put a very light coat back over the top of it. Once I've gone through the grades a little bit, I'll probably go 320, 500, 800, something like that. And we'll see if it does it again, see if it's still going to pickle up. If it is, then they might need to strip them right back with the sand, which I don't really want to be doing, because I've already done it once and prepared them once. But, one of the main features on the car, the wheel trims stick out a mile. When someone comes to boost there, they've got to be mint. So I'm not going to bore you sitting there watching me sand on this trim for half an hour. So I'll carry on with it, get all this off, and then we'll have an attempt with some more shiny silver paint and see what we get. So I'll show you what I'm going to go through because these will be in the right paint. I've done these three little bits here. I'm going to use a blade and I'm going to dig out all the paint. having to go like that and dig out all the paint out of each one of these for some reason it's still soft it's definitely got some sort of reaction going on because they've been sprayed a good few days now and don't get me wrong it's not taking forever or anything but Obviously this is just the first stage. I've got to get in there with all the different sandpapers next and get, you know, get it all smoothed down. Because at the moment we've just got scratched off paint which is going to still react because I've still got bits under the sides and still plenty there to have to work out with. Got to get all this off. That sounds like it's a bit tougher in the middles, but in these any bits, it's not. It's quite strange. Got a big scratch on this one. If there's any trouble using the blade, you've got to be really careful you don't put deep scratches in. about could have done without this hassle got to do it on that one over there as well these ones here the two I have done that I haven't sprayed over with the silver yet I'm going to flatten them back and let them breathe for a bit and hope if there's any trapped materials or stuff in them that'll come out we'll do it again and let's still keep doing it I'm probably not going to strip them right back down to bare because it's a lot of time and energy for no reason really. I might just grab another set. But we should be able to sort it and I'll strip these down. 
we'll get them primed. Well, we'll try and put some prime on them a little while. Okay. So I think you get the idea of what I'm up to. Keep it scratches and how much is a pain doing it this way, but otherwise, can you imagine how long it'll take to strip them down by sandpaper? <laughs> I'm going to blast it with the sander a little bit and see what we get. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it's coming off. It's ripped the sandpaper up, so which means it's still sticky. Hopefully I'll sort it out pretty easy. flatten it down fairly fairly well so I'll carry on doing that attack the other one as well and then one's probably gonna get through loads of sheets of 320 but it's got to be done and let's see if we can save them so this is obviously taking hours I've got this one to do now I'll stand as the two that I only had lacquer on from when I was on the car um, I've turned the one I was showing you right at the beginning, which is this one here. I've just reprimed it, and I'm hoping it's not going to react this time. I'm going to give it overnight and see what it does. Might put another coat of primer on it in a couple of hours, just to see. These ones I'm going to let them breathe overnight, and hope that any trap thinners and stuff like that completely come out of them. And that one I've got to completely start, same as the one I showed you at the beginning. Literally got reactions all over the place. I'll strip it right back. With that one over there, I did actually have to strip it right back to where the filler and stuff was when I repaired them. So not too good. Probably got to do the same with this one. As you can see, they start off like that and I have to get them down to bare plastic like that. So that's quite a task. Each trim takes a good hour, but it's got to be done. So I'm just going to get on with it. And that'll be the last you see of them until I've actually got some silver on them and they're going on the car. <laughs> right, so a bit of an update. That one's still sitting down there. It's had a second prime now. And no reaction, so looking good. A little bit dark in here because I've just turned the lights off because I'm now popping home for some food. This one is completely stripped back to bare plastic and just had a first coat of primer. Looking good. Them two there are going to stay there for the night. I've been playing around with this front grill, masked up the badge, give the old grill a, a good old coat and that's looking nice and shiny. I've been round this side and I've been sanding this front wing, had a couple of small runs on it, I had to sand out and it's now been flattened with 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, all nice and flat. And then I come over to these wheels and give them a sand down, I'll give the wheels a paint and then I'll put some tyre paint on as well. Both of them are done, so we've got four wheels now for the old Fiesta, which is pretty good, it's what we need. Hopefully that's going to start to come round and start looking like a nice car. Any trouble is obviously while I'm around there doing sanding and stuff like that, I'm sanding over the car, but got a feeling that's going to need a wash anyway, there's a few little bits around it that need doing that I've seen. Like on the top of this Fiesta badge and that, there's a few bits of moss and stuff like that. We're on the edge of these windows on the back here and he's doing up in the top here along these runners and stuff. So 
I do need a blast of the old jet wash anyway. So after I've done, just got to do the bottom of that wing out, I'm onto this door and i will flatten down all this door, go for all the grades again. Same on this rear quarter, flatten down this rear quarter, go for all the grades up along the top, up along the panel over down there and meet the front wing. Once that's done, that'll sort all this side out with a good old buff, all the different compounds, different polishes, etc, etc. Then I'll attack this roof, get this roof all looking good, this rear top of the boot, and then the bottom half of the boot. Still got to flatten down the back bumper as yet and give that a good buff. So we've still got a fair way to go as yet, but we're, we're pushing along. We're getting more and more done. Every hour it passes. Just been hard work, this one. It's <laughs> just fighting me every way. Okay, so we're back from having something to eat. And the first thing I've done was come over and give all the trims their first coat of silver. Now it's a test of see if anything reacts. Fingers crossed they won't. Going to leave them for a couple of hours now, let them settle a bit, and then they need a couple more coats if they don't react. Fingers crossed, we'll all be good. But now about to whack one of these wheels on on the back here. Start changing a couple over while I can. While I've got a bit of spare time doing other stuff. This one's a nice old Bridgestone, lovely tyre, lovely tread. Like brand new, as are the rest. Lovely, let's get it on. That should give us some sort of idea what it's all going to look like. Looking at the side of the car here, yeah, I've actually got a couple of tiny little touch-ups to do here. Eh? I might do them in a minute as well. So it looked like I said, recent brake pops as well. It's got copper ones in. Pretty good. Rear shocks look like they're new as well. The previous owner of this definitely looked after it. Just not on the inside. <laughs> but otherwise, looks like it had everything it needed mechanical wise and stuff like that. Let's get this one off. What a shame. <laughs> so she got maximum tread left on it. Still got the bobbly bits on either side, but all down these middles are all split. No good. Anything that's any good for is burnouts or something on the track. <laughs> right, let's whack this nice brand new one on. better already. It's going to come round and actually turn out to be a really nice car. It's just a case of having to go through 101 different things to get it to that stage. Some of them take a few days, some of them can take a week like this one. <laughs> this one's actually took longer I think on and off in between other stuff. Been working on the Rover as well on the back bumper, doing bits and pieces on that. Off camera, that's all filled up now and ready to be flattened down again. And probably ready to mask up and prime out of that. But I just wanted to get to sort of, get this one back on its wheels, get the ball joints and stuff done, get the wheels on, trims on, and you know, start to get the idea of what it's gonna look like. And just putting a set of wheels on is going to make all the difference, as you can see. I'll grab a trim in a minute and we'll have a quick look and see, see what it's going to look like, roughly. So I always like to get a picture of what I'm aiming for at the end of, end of the job, sort of thing. All right. Let's get these nice and tight. Lovely. Alright, let's grab one of them trims and 
Try not to get it dirty and just get a rough idea of what it looks like, shall we? So here's one, it's obviously not very shiny yet. It's only got its first coat on. I'm not gonna snap it into place, but I can get a rough idea what it's gonna look like. I'll grab you and let you have a look as well. So if I do say so myself, even with one coat of paint on, looks pretty nice. So two or three more coats and a bit of lacquer. Should make that look really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whack an axle stand under it. So I can nick a jack. We'll try to. Low. And that's jacked right up. Okay, struggling to get it on there. Which is a bit strange. Sure where my smaller ones are. Um, bit of a pain in it. <laughs> Not a single spot where I don't want to go under. Even when there's cardboard bins. on the edge there, hopefully. A little grinder and stuff. Things will tidy up in those bits in a minute. That should let that sit there for now. And what we'll do is we'll bring the jack around the other side. get this side in the air and carry on on this side because at the moment I stay on that angle which is a bit of a pain. And the chassis point. We should be able to level it back up. down on the other side there. That should be what we need. We can get along this sill now. Up into that quarter, get this door sorted out. We've got a run here where I went a little close. So I've got to sort that out. A bit here to sort out, just to flatten down. So I'm just gonna crack on with the rest of this side, I think. So I'm literally having to sand every single bit of this car because that's either got like a green mouldy sort of bubbly bit texture to it. But she's coming off on a sand it bag, but that's obviously going yucky like this. Or it's got a load of tar on the sides and tree sap and that sort of thing. So I ain't really got a choice. I want a nice mint, shiny, better than brand new looking finish because me flattening it all down like this, I'll get a nice glass finish. Whereas in the factory they come out a bit bobbly. So this is actually going to make it a better finish than what it would when it come out forward. It's going to be nice and flat and smooth, glassy shine. That's going to look pretty good. We're finally now meeting up with the front wing. I've still got the middle door to do. I say middle door, that's the middle panel. It's the only door on this side. <laughs> Oh, got a couple of little marks here where I missed the sheet. 
for some reason the paint went through the sheet, so I've got to sand them off. Don't know what happened there, but something did. So I'll just get the old block and concentrate on them areas. See if we can get rid of that. Might actually get myself a, a new piece. But I think you get the idea of what I'm doing, so I'll carry on doing this side. Oh, so finally got all of this side all sanded down. Took some doing. <laughs> it's pretty weird, all matte and flat like this. But the door down the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me, get all the tire and everything off. Yeah, it certainly took some doing, and I can hardly feel my arms now. They're absolutely knackered. But we got it where we need it to be. We've now got to start buffing away and putting a shine on it. Let's have a go and see what we can get this to look like. Need it to come up at least as good as the rest of the car, if not better. Because that's all fresh, fresh paint from what I done when I painted the car. So I'm sure you don't want to watch me do that for half an hour. So what I'll do is I'll pass this, let's say 20 minutes, half an hour, I'll give it a good old going over. And let's see if we can get it to shine and I'll bring you back and show you the after result. Okay, so that's a good bit of time on that wing. And as you can see, it's starting to go glassy. Quite nice. Probably passed over at least six, seven times now. Also, been working my way along the bottom of the car as you can see i've got a nice mirror finish all the way down lovely now started to do the first pass up on the door up there and as you can see it's starting to go shiny but it's still scratchy and still messy and still plenty to do but from what we've done so far it took about an hour just over an hour something like that but it's worthwhile as you can see because it's definitely coming up so I'm going to carry on, I'm going to do all the rest of this side now, and then I'll show you once I've done all this side. So I've had to give my arms a rest, so I've just been out and bought a couple of these. They're the new pinch bolts for the bottom ball joint. So that's for the other side. I've already just fitted this one. As you can probably see, nice new shiny bolt in there. That'll be jubbly. Then if you be able to see the other side. It's all in and all good. So now we can tidy up this area because we've got tools all over the place. They all need to go around the other side. And then we can get a wheel on this side. And whew, finally this side's getting done. So this side's down on the ground. Look a bit better with the trims and that on, don't it? Not bad, not bad. What I've also done is I've masked up the front flicked a bit of primer around and then blacked it and as you can see that's now drying should dry sort of more of a matte finish like the grill up the top should look quite nice I'll give that probably two or three coats just to get that to covered properly but yes yeah, definitely looking better with the trims on and the nice shiny tires need to do the same to this back end now need to get this rear bumper all buffed up blended in this boot Got a little bit of work to do on the bottom of the boot here as well. As you can see along the bottom here, it's been, something's been shut on it or something's been 
you know, rope or something's been put around or something like that. But either way, we can flatten this down and touch it in nicely. Get the back of that boot all nice and shiny. I've buffed that big old sticker off that was sitting there. Also, that one that was up there, they both come off nicely. So that's good. And we're sort of starting to get towards the end, which is great. Did have another whip over the roof. So now, as you can see, we've got a nice glass finish on that side. Compared to that side, it's not been done. <laughs> God, that side looked terrible, doesn't it? Not going to do that one today. I'm going to save my arms a bit because I can hardly feel them at the moment. They're absolutely shot. But we are getting there. That ball joint's all in. All the steering wheel on that side is all back on. It's back on the floor, so pretty good. So it's now a case of probably going to be tomorrow now. I've got all the tools and everything ready. We'll probably jack up this side. Get straight in there first thing in the morning, six, seven o'clock. Cut all them ball joints and stuff out. Take all the steering arms off, etc. Pull a ball joint out. Replace it with a new one. Tidy up inside the arch there and everything, and then get a nice shiny trim. Trim, no, nice shiny wheel on both sides at the back here. And then start to tidy up this side a bit, and then we're starting to come along. Really, we're getting to that point where. It's not going to take too much longer and she's going to be done, which is nice because my body needs a rest. <laughs> Got two more trims over here ready for that side. No reactions, no nothing. Looking really good. Absolutely spot on, which is exactly what we want. So that's where we are. So been going through this side. I've done the bottom ball joint on here. If you want to see that done, I've got a complete separate video on that and how to video. This side's all looking good. I went to put this back wheel on and the wheel don't fit. It's a slightly different wheel. So the stud pattern's different. So that's a pain. So my next job is to take that wheel and unfortunately one of the rusty ones and go and get it changed. Get one of these tires taken off, get a decent that decent one put on. Gonna have to sand that wheel down and repaint that wheel to match the others, but gotta do what we gotta do. So it's starting to look quite nice. So let's get that done and then we can move on with the back end, the other side of the roof. And then we're pretty close to finishing off our valet. We've got some bits to do like the mirrors and the black bits. Got to do the inside of the windows, the dash and all that sort of thing under the bonnet. And then we can take her out for a spin, get a MOT'd, get a photoed up. And that's going to be the end of that one. So we've jumped forward quite a lot. So where I am now is these mirrors and trims and stuff around the sides have all been painted black. So with these side trims along the side of the car. This is all the masking down there from when they had the car all masked up doing it. Back bumper's all buffed. Bottom half's all blacked. Boot handle's all blacked. Wheels and trims are on this side. Had to go and get a tire swapped over because one of the wheels didn't fit. All the interior's all finished. All the dash is looking like brand new. Absolutely lovely in there. All the seats are mint. This side's been painted along the trims and stuff as well, as well as around the mirror. And as you can see, they look brilliant. Trims are on this side. And we're just about ready to get her all photoed up. So we've come along quite nicely. Quite happy with where we are now, it's looking good. So we've just had a delivery. You can pretty much see what they are. A nice set of genuine mats for the old Fiesta. With these you have to have the, the cutouts of the floor. Lovely set of mats. Obviously got front and back. Put them in just as we finish. What I've basically just done probably tell by the reflection of the window just on the windows inside and out so 
it's all looking good. Wiped in all side the door shuts and stuff, just where there's a little bit of dust from getting in and out and putting everything back together. And pretty much, I think we're there. I'll get these mats in. I've just done all underneath the engine bay, so everything under there is all looking nice. Can't think of anything else I've got to do, so. I'm gonna put these in and let's go get it photoed up. Just booked an MOT, so we're off down for an MOT. We'll, we'll drop it off down there and get it MOT'd. And let's go from there. So I've gone as far as I can with the Fiesta at the moment, so I've pulled the Rover back in. And I'm gonna get on with this back bumper. Get this flattened down and see what we've got underneath, see if we need to put any more in. Been shaping it up off camera as well, as you can see. See if we can get this nice and tidy. Little DA out again. So I've been across the wall at end, all the end a bit there, along the back. There's a few little bits that need another skim. Started doing this end, and I'm now going to do this corner.
Soon gets absolutely covered in sand and dust. So I think you get the idea, so get this all flattened down and I'll show you again once it's all as far as I can get it. So I managed to get that all flattened down. Let's get it wiped down now. And we can refill some of the bits that do need doing. As you can probably see, it's starting to look really good already. A couple of tiny bits down here, little scratches. Got a bit in here to sort of roughen up a little bit and get some more filler in. Just be careful I don't wipe dirt around the last time I wiped it. Pretty good, pretty good. That's a shame. There's a bit of bubble in the paint down there. I've got to do a bit of prep down there as well. Whew. But it's starting to look much better. It's part of the job, basically. You just keep going through these different phases. And eventually you will get there. That's what it's like close up. So I'll get all the lines back, as you can see. No cracks, no flaky paint. Still got to work in there a bit. All along the back here is looking really nice. But between here and there, when I mean, they've got a dip in here because I've because I've skimmed all of this. So I think we'll just have to fill across here. It's hard to tell. I think the dip actually is just about there. This is high enough. So we'll skim across there. Do what we need to do. This corner's pretty much done. There was only this little bit here. And then we've got a build up in here where it was quite the long here. Yeah, that's the bit I was talking about just now. Don't know why that's bubbled up, but it has. And it's a good job I saw it, to be honest. That will lift another day, if not, so. Another bit of prep I've got to do. So, it's been a good while on the bumper now. We're all refilled. Hopefully that will all go off in the next hour or so. Shouldn't be a problem. It's plenty hot today out there. Sort of 22, 24 at the moment. That'll be 27, 28, 29 later. So it's definitely going to set. You can probably see it's a nice day. Right, I think it's time for me to go and grab some breakfast. Been in since about half six, and I ain't had nothing yet, so I need to go and grab something. I ain't even had a hot chocolate or nothing. <laughs> so I'm off for some breakfast, stroke, lunch. So we've been working really hard on this back bumper and as you can see we're getting all the lines, getting all the prep done. I've got one more bit left to do in the, just in the middle area as you can see. That wasn't there before but it was my fault. I've been out with the trailer 
and I caught it with the front on the old tow hitch, which ain't good. <laughs> I actually cracked the paintwork, so I had to redo it. So I ground it all back out, back past the bare plastic, and started again on that bit of that area. And that's where I am now. Hopefully, once I've done that bit, the rest of the bump is actually there. It's all flattened down. I've just got to take the shiny bits off the side there before I start doing any painting or anything. Obviously, mask the car up. But that's where we are with it, so not too bad. <coughs> <coughs> get the idea so as if by magic that'll be done in the click of my fingers and it's all done <laughs> not looking too bad I'm gonna have to give it a skin with the old final filler so I'll grab you and let you have a little look and that's what we got bit of a shame that it got damaged but we should be able to sort it and they're gonna skim it with the final stuff and I'll bring you back when we're shaped up okay so that's all skimmed up got to let that go off now and sort of settle for an hour or so let it sink into all the grooves and bits and pieces and then I'll be able to flatten it. I think I'll leave it overnight to be fair. And that'll be nice and hard for tomorrow and I'll be able to get at it. So I'll leave this one here I think. I've got a new project that I've just brought in the trailer. It's sitting behind me. So I'll bring that out and I'll start a new video I think. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.